Okay, so after a couple years, it was inedible. This bathroom needed some sort of system. So here's how I organized my bathroom. and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Lauren. I am a college junior. I do college and organization videos here on my channel. You guys really love the organization videos and I actually need to organize my bathroom. So here I am today. So I shared this bathroom with my sister and we have like a general organization in here, but it's like not that specific at all. And we end up placing things in random places sometimes. So that's what I'm here to do. I want to buy organization bin so that when we open the cabinet door, it doesn't look like some clutter that's like kind of organized. So I want to go to Target and kind of buy like little tiny organization bins. I actually went to Ikea the other day with my mom to run an errand and I was looking over the organization bins because you know me. I came upon these like white organization bins that weren't that big and they were about the size of the cabinets in my bathroom and since I knew I wanted to do this video I literally just grabbed them. So right now I'm gonna take out a bunch of stuff from the cabinets and then see what specific things I need to buy. Go and head to Target and grab those. So let's get started. So right here where the sink is is kind of where we store like most of our stuff. So we have hair gel and dry shampoo, pore strips. It just looks very cluttered. At least have like a container to store something with in each category. I'm gonna take everything out and see if these white containers from Ikea fit in here. So that's the next step. up here. I'm literally on the floor of my bathroom. Only one of the boxes fits in there. I have another one and it comes with like little lids that I can just like put over it and like stack it. I also have tinier ones. I don't know. I'm gonna play with it. I don't know exactly how I want to organize this. I think I need to sit down for a couple minutes, see if I get any more ideas to get anything else and then go to Target and I'll be right back. So I got rid of everything in the drawers. They're disgusting on the inside. There's so much dust that I didn't know about under there. So I'm gonna clean that. I have everything on, you can't even see it. I have everything out on this table. It looks a little hectic to say the least. But yeah, I put all of my hair stuff in here and it fits perfectly right in front of the other big container. I think I have an idea of like how I wanna organize it depending on like how urgent we use things. I'm gonna go to Target and then I will be right back and show you guys everything that I got. So let's go to Target. So it is 8 p.m. I spent like an hour and a half in Target. People thought I was probably crazy because I went through the same miles like three or four times trying to find like the right containers because I didn't want to get something that was too big or too small. And I took like a bunch of pictures on my phone of like how the cabinets looked like so that I can have like a reference point. The cabinets with stuff in it already. I got this little like clear container, a longer clear container. This is probably for the little drawer that's like above all the hair stuff. So got a third one. So my plan is to kind of organize it like this or I don't know which side I'm gonna put it in but like to have space over on this side so I can put like the makeup wipes there and then call it a day. I also got this little like tote. It's just to put all of the heat products so hair dryer, hair iron, hair curler, things like that. Like stack them on top of each other and then have to worry about finding which one I want. So I think this was just an easier option. I had already something like that but it was like this red really tight container and everything was kind of just like smushed together. So I found a little bigger one and that was black so it looks a little nicer and I got a soap dispenser 
but like I don't know where it is. I checked before I left to make sure that I grabbed all my bags after checkout, but like I don't have it here. So either I missed the bag after I grabbed all the bags or like I left it in the car. So I'm gonna go check. I left it. I left it. It's not here. I look at the receipt and like I paid for it. It's here, but I just, I didn't grab it on my way out. Okay. It was a soap dispenser and a command hook in there. Cause that's all I'm missing. And I checked my car, it's not there. I checked the floor of my car. I checked in other seats. I'm not gonna go back. It's like a 20 minute drive and it's like 8 p.m. <sighs> We're just gonna keep going. Today the plan is to wipe everything down because it looks disgusting in there. Put everything sort of back in containers and then tomorrow morning I'm gonna finish doing like the organizing element. I have a pretty good idea of like what I want to put everything. So tomorrow is just executing it. So here we go. Let's get to work. So I wiped all of the cabinets down. It was disgusting in there. I'm just gonna loosely like store stuff back into its drawers. Tomorrow is just gonna be like refining and just putting everything where I have like in my head. Okay, so my camera died. Anyway, tomorrow's the big reveal. So I will see you guys tomorrow. coffee ready and I have all the things laid out here on the table. Also, after I stopped recording last night, I went back to Target. <laughs> I couldn't. I think it was like a total of $8 that I left and like I really wanted to use this soap dispenser So I went back there. I told the lady hey like I left something in cashier number three I think it was and then she checked the bag and she found the literal bag with this and the command hooks I'm glad I went back last night because they closed at 10 p.m I came back like at 8 or 8 30 and then I was already back home at like 9 30 So I feel very happy because I don't have to do it today. It is currently 10 a.m I'm about to finish this and it's time to start organizing. Cheers placed so that it's easier to clean it up afterwards. So here's a little tour of my bathroom. Okay, so these are the two drawers that I organized. In here we have all of the hair products like I said earlier, heat protectant, dry shampoo, gel, mousse, hairspray, leave-in conditioner, all those kinds of stuff. Back here we have stuff that we use on a regular basis and it's actually like easy to access it. We have like Meister water, aloe vera, hair oil, wish hazel, and then this is just like Windex to like wipe over the counters. And then over here we just have a paper towel. Inside of here is basically everything that we rarely use. Things that we use less than every month or so so that it's more organized together like wax kit stuff, play masks and stuff like that. So all of that is in here. All the things that we regularly use are easier to reach. So this is just way better because all of it was just put in here and there was like no organization to it. Up here we have the little drawer. We have like gua sha, gloss. There's like an extra toothbrush for cleaning. 
using hair clips, makeup remover wipes, like extra brushes so that after we wash our hair, we can brush our hair in the bathroom, a detangling brush. All of that is on top of here. Things that are easier to access that we use literally every day. So that is on there. So we're done with this side. I love this. This is the other side. Obviously we have like baby wipes, toilet paper, all of the heat products. So blow dryer, hair curling iron, hair straightener. Back here, t-shirts for my sister's hair after she washes her hair, pads and liners. Everything is just super organized. I feel way better about it. So all of that is in here. Over here we have all of the skincare products that we use every day. So the sink is like right over here. The skincare products are right next to the sink. So on top of here is mostly decorations. We just like have like a fake cactus in there. So over here is my sister's products and then these are my products. And then moving on to the shower, everything is a lot more organized in terms of like where specific products go. So like on top of here, we have like face wash and body wash. And then down here, we have like all of the shampoo, conditioners, things like that. In the command hooks, I put like the shower caps so that they can like dry out every time we use them. And then I put a razor down here, loofah, things like that. Going back to the sink, I put the mouthwash in here. So this is technically a soap pump to be productive and to use it more often. We just made it easier for ourselves and I put it in this soap pump. This pump doesn't create any foam. I wanted to get a black one so it kind of fit with the vibe of the bathroom. And then we have a little cap from the Listerine bottle. Pump it in here and then it's just way easier. This didn't really change over here. It's just toothbrushes and face wash. And this is a charcoal toothpaste. So yeah, that is my bathroom organized. I feel way better. Everything is much easier to find. And I've been meaning to do this for a couple years, but every time I want to try to start it, I just do one drawer and then I don't do the rest of the bathroom. And I'm glad that this video gave me like an incentive to like actually do it. It's just going to make our lives easier. So anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like this video because that's how you let me know. Subscribe for more videos like these and hit the little bell notification next to the subscribe button so that you get notified every single time I post. I post every single Sunday and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.